It definitely was. There was a glitch Definitely. in the corner. You could like jump off the train and get into this uh, this glitch spot, like a pixel spot. Well, we are live into the ninth round, boys and girls. So the music has been muted, and we are just going to see them barrel on out mid here into the outside train yard. And again, Tempo Storm versus Luminosity. Tempo Storm trying to utilize those trains to their advantage. Hopefully nobody stays on the ladders where the hitboxes are all muffed <laughs> up right now. Man, that is such a frustrating thing. I've seen so many videos. Adren actually put out a video talking about it. And it's just, his, it's his so ridiculous. It, his, his clip on it was really, really funny. What, was he abu Was he the abuser no, or the abusee? Yeah, no, he was, he was the abuser. Ah, classic Adren. <laughs> it was classic great, scum Adren. I was cracking up. I mean, it's so true, though. Santa's all could win this. Nope. Nafly's going to take him down, and we are going to see LG start on the CT side. So, again, for those of you tuning in, that's going to be Peter Nafly, Pit, Lex, and Anger facing off against Darky Ricks. Santa's all Shazam and Glorin's Hades absent from the server this evening. Yeah, this is uh, this is scary off the back of Luminosity's really strong CT side on cash. I mean, they're going to get the easier. I mean, this is a this has been heavily CT sided in North America. So, I mean, they're, they're going to be off to another easier half. And, and Tempo Storm's got to do a little bit more work than they did on cash on their terror side if they want to have a chance. All right, so we're going to see a very aggressive play coming out from the Tempo Storm side, and Lex with two in a row, Nafly there to support as well. And that's going to be Nap picking up the triple, maybe? Nope, it's Anger coming in and finishing it off. Peter, the only casualty for the CT side, and what a statement being made in the pistol round from Luminosity. Boom, shakalaka. Yeah, Lex just casually just tapping people down. Just it seemed effortless there, so nicely done from him. Grabbing that choke point, grabbing the angle, just mowing him down. No progress made by Tempo Storm whatsoever. All right, so we are going to go into an anti-eco round. Armor and Tech 9 being purchased by a couple of players on Tempo Storm as well as some P250s. And Moses, what map is this again? This is Train. <laughs> Let's oh, get it going, Lord. boys and girls. I set you up perfectly for that one. Here we go. It's going to be a quick push coming to that coming. I should have seen it coming. Yes, you should have. But nevertheless, we are going to see a little bit of a push from this terrorist side coming in towards the inside bomb site. Peter with the scout on Ivy is going to be looking for one. Look at how passive they are outside of ter terrorist spawn right now. You've got Glorens as well as Ricks set up in that position, just waiting for any kind of an Ivy push. But it is going to be coming down through the ladder room. The smokes come out through the windows, so they have been practicing their smokes. The nades come out. Not going to find the damage they were looking for, but we might see a blind spray through the smoke to try to find something. Anger is in that position. Not going to be able to line it up. He does take a little bit of return damage, and Darky's going to get that bomb down. So a great round thus far here for the Tempo Storm side. First blood goes their way as well. Yeah, this is actually really scary. Great positioning from Tempo Storm at the moment. Peter does pick one off with the scout, but there's Darky lurking at Alley perfectly. Rick's now found on one, too. We saw how strong Luminosity's retakes were in the last map. Pit's going to tap the bomb. The flashbang comes around. Nope, it's a decoy, but nevertheless, that is going to be Pit cleaning up. And he gets the last one as well. Bomb does get defused, but what a hell of an eco round. And Tempo Storm going to put that money in the bank as well. It was a heavy investment for him, so I shouldn't see a gun round here. But that was a hell of an eco round from them. Yeah, they, I mean, they had great positioning. It just seemed to collapse there at the end. I, I really thought they were, they were poised perfectly to take that round, especially after picking off Glorens. That was a four on five, and, and Peter had the only kit. So, unfortunately, just wrapping around the trains, they lost a little bit of positioning. Pitt was able to spray a couple down, so nicely done on the retake. And now they've got to stabilize. I mean, they can't, they can't lose that many players again here, but that's great damage done by Tempo Storm. And Peter's actually just going to push up very aggressively on Alley. He's going to get the information. He's going to know nobody's there. Look at this, Anger hiding down underneath the ladder room, but Shazam and company have pushed out mid. Those nades have done so much damage. Nap finds one, finally Ricks takes down Anger. And now getting a little too aggressive for his own good. Darky's going to get taken down from behind that smoke, and that's going to leave it on Ricks and Shazam to try to make something happen. And Peter on this big flank might be able to make something happen, and there it is. He's going to be able to find one Shazam stuck in sandwich. He's going to get taken down. Lex with the CZ-75 finds that frag, and that's going to be three unanswered routes now for Luminosity. Coming into the first gun round. Yeah, let's we'll see what they have to offer. Peter's going to pick up that AWP. He has a lot of money behind that, so he does grab that weapon. They're going to be fully stocked up. Shazam's going to be competing with them, so we'll see how that battle turns out for Shazam. Very, very ineffective on cash with it, but this map is a little bit more op-friendly for him. Yeah, terrorist side of cash not really favoring the AWP too much. It's going to be a quick push out through mid, and there it is. Anger spraying down too. Stan is long. Glorin's immediately eliminated. Pit going to get aggressive. He goes down. Affly goes down to Shazam's up, so it's evened up here at 3-on-3. Three three. 
Anger's gonna go ahead and peek out. He does have a little bit of a gap in that smoke he might be able to work with, and Peter does win the all on all battle versus Shazam, so down to a two versus three now in favor of the Luminosity side, and look at this. They've actually resigned from their positions outside. Lex got aggressive. There's no play on the inside train yard right now. Peter is around by CT spawn, might be able to make a go of it, but that bomb's gonna rotate around towards Ivy. Yeah, and this could catch this could catch them off guard. I mean, they have a lot of space to work with. And look at this luminosity. All three of them just playing together, rotating all of them back towards that inside bomb site. Anger's actually going to get up up the ladder. Yeah, and he's good spot have for a, Anger. Yep, and he'll be able to spot this out if they come outside. But no, nowhere really for him to fall back. So I mean, he's got to win this first battle. They do have the advantage of one man. And now look, Peter's rotating back around from CT spawn. So they have one player on inside, but Peter's going to get all the way in this outback, and he's going to grab an angle on Alley. And they're not out yet. This could be perfect timing from Peter. But Boom. he gets taken out by Darky. Darky finds the kill, and now a lot of pressure is going to be put onto Anger. The rotate's coming in. Lex is going to go around towards the backside as well. And Anger hasn't won that battle. Now he's in trouble. He falls down. That's an accident. He's caught in the open, but they can't kill him. Anger very fortunate to be alive, playing inside the bombsite, delaying as much as possible. Swings out, grabs the bomb, and there's the flank from Lex. But a scary situation. Luminosity comes out on top, and they salvage two AWPs coming up for the next round. Yeah, Anger. Surprise a cat dropping out of heaven like that. <laughs> Can't believe they didn't get that frag on him, but now a double scope set up here for the CT side. We saw Nafly pick up the op occasionally on the uh, on cash, and he hit a couple of really nice shots with it. So we'll see whether or not he can put it together on uh, train this time. It is going to be an eco round from the Tempo Storm side. Again, looking to favor. Well, it looks like they're actually going to move towards the inner area again. This is looking like a repeat of the previous eco round that they had. Yeah, but Lex is pushed up upper, and oh, he gets taken out by Dark. He did grab two. And that's the bomb spotted. Naf's going to fall back a little bit with that AWP. But, I, I mean, Tempo Storm is so incredibly spread out with these pistols. One enter, one over towards mid, and one towards alley. So, I mean, there's no opportunity for them to group up, even though Darky does have a Colt or an M4. Let's see where they decide to go. Darky looking to drop down through ladder, and this is not the right play for him. He does manage to somehow dink Pit off of the ladder. Yeah, that can't make Pit happy, but he does have the bomb down. He's falling back. He's going to get into a better position. One's going to lurk out Alley, so they've got to be a little bit careful. That's going to be Rix. They're not looking at it whatsoever. He could have two easy kills if he turns this corner. Comes on around, does take down Peter. He's got one more to beat. Pre-fires Pit and takes him out as well. He's got an AWP now. The bomb is going to get recovered down to a two versus two, so the time still a lot on the board. Anger coming around the corner. He drops the flashbang out. Rick's playing on top of the bomb train. This is a good position from him. Flashbang around the corner. Shazam's going to tap the plant. Does get it down. They don't realize, though, that Nafly has got that AWP all the way back around towards Ivy's side. And now Rix is going to put himself into a better position to try to hold this. Flashbang around the corner. He's going to get blinded. Shazam is able to take down Anger, so it's now all down to Naf. And Naf goes down to Shazam as well, so an eco-round win for Tempo Storm. Yeah, Rick and Rick's opening things up nicely, providing great cover for his teammate to get the plant down. And that actually, I mean, with, with the last round coming down so close, that, that hurts the economy of, of Luminosity. That breaks them. So they're just going to have to buy up some pistols. They're going to have to save this round. So a great opportunity for Tempo Storm. Now, they have a double op set up on the T side. Uh, their first gun run was very, very fast paced out mid. This is going to have to slow things down from them uh, with two scopes. All right, so again, we're going to see an eco round from the LG side. Lex getting relatively aggressive. Stannis Law is going to come under fire. Peeks the corner properly. Peter around there is going to get taken down from Ivy. Lawrence biding his time. There's one more to beat in that area. That's going to be Nafly playing behind the boxes. See what he has to do here with the banana in hand. But they're going to fall all the way back now. Pitt's gotten himself into a pretty good position over here by X Hell, and Stannis Law does go down to the hands of Lex. Rick's still holding on to the AWP. Didn't pass it over to... Sh well, it's actually Shazam with one as well, so... They're going to go ahead and push on up. Pit right around the corner. They're going to spot him out, take him down. Flashbang, actually a team flash on a darkie, but that's okay because he does get the kill. No ray refrag coming out from the terrorist side or CT side at all. Anger moves into Pit's position now, so they might not suspect that there's going to be another Deagle there, and they don't. He's going to be able to find one. Peeking out, finds a second one as well. Putting that Desert Eagle to work. It's going to be a man advantage now here for the terrorists or the CT side. There's one more for them. Lex chimes in again, though. Glorin's down. It's going to be on Shazam again in a one versus two. See what he can do here with the AWP in hand. Picks up the AK. Knows that Lex is around the corner. Drops the flashbang. Nafly resigned all the way to Ivy. And this is going to take a lot of time off the clock for Shazam, Shazam to try to clean out these angles. He's got Lex working his way right around. He's not looking the right direction. Lex comes out. He wins the battle, though. Down to a 1v1. 13 HP versus 12 HP. He's got to get that bomb down. And he goes towards enter. Smart play from Shazam. Yeah, no, especially knowing Naf, he was over towards over towards Alley. 
This is still a really scary round for him. He's very low HP. Both of them are just one hit away from death, so Naf... He's still playing it very slow. He doesn't have a kit, so he's got to find this kill pretty early on, and Shazam's actually worked his way over towards, you know, the spawn side. He's got actually great positioning for this post plan. This is... This should be a relatively standard win for him. And again, Nafly working his way down from the lower ramp. He's going to go ahead and peek on around the corner. Not going to find anything just yet, and he's just going to go ahead and save. He might... He should go outside and try and find an AWP. Although it looks like Shazam is going to cut him off, so... No well, real he's, opportunity. He's worried about the blast radius on that bomb, too. Being as low as he is, he wants to get as far away from that bomb as possible. Shazam's able to salvage the AWP as well, so he's going to have that off for the next round. So another good round from Tempo Storm. It was a close one. Even though it was an eco round for Luminosity, they are going to put a little bit more cheddar in the bank. You can see Shazam with 9,500, and he salvaged a gun from the last round, too. Yeah, well, Tempo Storm's actually really, really lucky to come out with that. I mean, they, they have the guns. It's an anti-eco, and, and they were all confined, you know, by this blue terrain just down this alley at a really tight choke point, and that allowed so many opportunities for those pistols to do the damage. And, and Lex flanking down ladder was a beast. Picks up a salvaged AK and, and does some work with it, but Tempo Storm barely getting away with the win there. And again, Anger playing aggressive over here by the ladder room. But look at the aggression from Ivy. Nap finds two. Shazam able to retort with one on the pit. But a great early push from the CT side is going to render them with the man advantage. Make that a two-man advantage. Make that a three-man advantage as Shazam is going to be one versus three this time. Or one versus four, pardon me. Yeah, I mean, two great plays by Anger and Nap to, to just get two kills each of them and just demolish whatever setup, whatever idea Tempo Storm had for this round. Now it's all on Shazam, and there's really not going to be much he can do here. He's going to get flashed. They're not aggressing him, though. They're just waiting waiting for him to come out of this choke point. No sense in uselessly throwing away rifles at this point because they got Peter with the AWP lined up right on that position. He should be able to hit this shot, and he does. Luminosity is going to extend their lead by three now, five to two. Yeah, and an interesting decision here for Tempo Storm. I mean, Shazam and Rix both have a lot of money. Each of them can drop an AK. This, this, this very well could be a buy, and it is going to be... It's going to be a pretty decent buy, actually, with the drops coming into play. Well, Rick's actually heavily invested into this round, so he's not going to be able to drop a gun for Darky. Darky's just going to have to pick up head armor and attack 9, but still a pretty worthy adversary for the Luminosity side with this 4AK setup. Yeah, and a good amount of utility as well. A lot of smokes, and it looks like they're going to be doing a fast strat out middle with a, with a ladder pinch, and playing, playing behind the trains is anger. He spots Shazam in mid. No AWP that they have to worry about, but four players down ladder. This could be scary. And again, Anger's going to try to get himself into a good position. He's going to be able to spot out one. Peter draws first blood, though. Stan is law down and out. Shazam goes down to the hands of Anger, biding his time behind the one train. Nafly's going to be able to go into one, goes into two, and that's all going to leave it on Darky, the lone non-rifler. He does pick up an AK, is able to dispatch of one. Now he's got to worry about Pit boosted up there in the CTZ hall. Just, just a deathmatch. Just a deathmatch pedal there. They just swung out and tried to win the fights. Luminosity just cleans him up. Nicely done on the defense there, winning all those fights with the AK-47s, and Darky goes down to pit there, but no real finesse to that strategy. Just swing out and see what battles you can win. Not enough trades go the way of Tempo Storm, and they get shut down. Now it's going to be an eco. Yeah, rough position for Tempo Storm to be in. They've picked up two rounds thus far, but Luminosity exerting their dominance on the CT side as they are going to be up by four going into the ninth round now. So it will be a... Eco round, as you said, Rick's going to pick up the body armor. That's going to be the only one to pick up any kind of an armor buy. And they're going to go fast towards Ivy. Let's see if Nafly decides to push up on it this time. Nope, just drops the smoke to hold him back. Let's yeah, see if they decide to push. This. One and two. Nade to follow. That's going to do some damage. Not going to be able to find any more damage from that nade. He finds the fourth. Can he get the ace? Looks for the knife. Not going to find it. Glorens, though, is going to be able to fall to pit. And Nafly with a big stand at Ivy. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't need to die there. I mean, it's kind of... He just wanted the ace going for the going for the flashy knife kill, but that is going to force a rebuy. It's not the best decision in terms of economy, but why not have a little bit of fun with it? But they've got four Molotovs now on top of five smokes on the CT side, so any kind of fast strategy, it, the, the choke points are just going to be so, so cluttered with, with fire, with smoke, with nades. It's a great advantage here for Luminosity with this strong economy. And again, they're going to spread out the offense here from the terrorist side. And Peter with the op aggressive lower inner is going to find one. Pushing upper inner is going to be Lex. So the trade's coming out. And look at that. Anger's already snuck his way up through the ladder room. Yeah, and he can actually... I mean, he's, he can just push these white walls now. And he can completely flank everything. Shazam finds, Shazam finds Pit pushing in mid. 
But uh, th this has been, they, they really don't have any option. They don't have control of Whitehalls. They don't have control of anything above ladder. So they're confined to this outside bombsite hit, especially with Langer push, Anger pushed up and grabbing all the intel. Yeah, and here they come up the stairs, and this is really not going to be a good... Oh, Anger! Only able to find one, but does tremendous damage to Shazam as well. So now they know that hit is going to be moving towards the inside bomb site. Lex is going to go ahead and rotate over. And again, these incendiary grenades that they've picked up could be crucial for him. They smoke off down on highway. They're going to fall back and go down through ladder room. Lawrence peeking a little bit too early for his own good. He's going to be able to find a flashbang that he threw himself. And now look at this sneaky naff. Going to clean him up. Two frags for his name, 8-2 to two now. Your scoreline is Luminosity. Again, extend their lead by 6. Yeah, great. Great crossfire set up by Peter and Lex. Uh, once again, just getting two kills so quickly. It happened a couple of rounds ago when, when Naf pushed to push towards Alley and then Anger and Ladder Room each got two. But, I mean, it just provides so much space for this Luminosity game. You could see how aggressively, I mean, Anger gets one pushed up aggressively towards T-Spawn. And even though he only grabs one and falls, it allows Naf so much room with the intel to push up aggressively uh, towards T-Choke and grab a great angle. So, nicely done so far on the defensive side by Luminosity. And again, Nafly getting aggressive over here by Ivy. He's going to flash his way out, but he's going to be able to relay all that information. Hey, they aren't coming, Ivy. I know this for a fact. Stan is law, though. It is an eco round for the terrorist side. Stan is law finds one. Anger playing from heaven is going to be able to retort onto him with the one for one trade. He's going to be able to spot some more heads. Falls out of heaven again. Only nine damage to fall off that ladder. The bomb is going to get planted, so a good eco round here for the terrorist side. Lawrence goes down to Anger's M4. Shazam right around the corner by Sam, which isn't going to be able to find anything. Anger swinging out. He's not going to be able to peek out for Darky. And Rix finds another one. That Molly's going to burn in. Oh, he's taking a tremendous amount of damage. And now Peter coming around with the snake camo gets the shot off, and that's going to leave it on Rix in a one versus two. Make that a 1v1, but Peter's going to be able to clean that up. Finally takes him down. A scary eco round again for Luminosity. Yeah, the eco routes for Tempo Storm when they go to this outside bomb site when they're smoking everything off, they're able to push up onto the bomb trainer are doing great. It's, you know, more of the aggressive tactics by Luminosity that's really been shutting them down on gun rounds. But, you know, despite getting four kills, that does some great damage to the economy, but there's still so much built up behind it, so Luminosity not really hurting too much in that regard, but we do have an AWP back in Shazam's hands. Let's see what he can do with it this time. And again, I think something of, something of note, something to point out is the fact that Stan's Law is sitting at 1 and 11 right now. He hasn't really been contributing too terribly much for his team. I believe the last round was actually the first round that he got a kill in. And here comes that A execute, but Anger is actually pushed up. Anger and Pit are so aggressive, they're, they're not going to have the same kind of success if they want to swing out mid and actually... I mean, they throw a lot of their smokes, and Sam just sneaks out. He gets his second. He gets his third kill of the half, so nice shots by him. Great entries onto the outer bomb site. It's just Snap over by Alley. With Peter as well with the AWP, but the bomb's getting planted. And this is a great spot for Tempo Storm. If Luminosity can't find some picks here very, very soon, very quickly, this might just be a save. And Lex pushing on out through Z is going to get taken down. Darky's going to find that kill, and now Peter with the AWP. He was quiet throughout the round, but he is able to find that one, and it will be a save here for the CT side. Not really going to contest this one too terribly much. They've resigned their way over towards the terrorist spawn. Yeah, and they might be able to get some exits, actually. Naf is in a great spot. This is Shazam's op. Such an expensive weapon to lose, and if they can guard that, that would be huge. Tempo Storm don't really have the economy too much to chase this, and, and Stan is so low. Peter takes one more out, and now Stan's really stuck in a tough spot. Win. He survives the bomb explosion, so that's all right, but again, losing that AWP, and actually, Naf like picks it, it up, too. Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 uh, that's a bummer. Sam can't. Uh, Sam can drop him one. Yeah. yeah. So again, nine to three. Tempo Storm trying to make a bit of this one. Let's see if they can string a couple more rounds together. But again, Luminosity they've been relatively strong in their terrorist sides in their previous couple of matches. I mean that huge comeback that they had the other night against Nylum, where they were down. I believe it was eleven. Twelve to three. Twelve they to three. Won 13 yeah. Thirteen side rounds and ever passed. That was pretty nutty. That was absolutely insane. And again, that comes on the back of some big plays being dealt by Lex so far this season. And again, he's going to be sitting at 9-5 and five right now, so he's been kind of quiet this matchup. But he is one of the guys that's been holding in the inside bomb site. And again, you can see him. He's just patiently playing at the lower ramp, just waiting for him. Knife out, just waiting for that peak to come out. He's just going to shoulder peek it, maybe drop a smoke to cordon off that area and resign to wait for his teammates to join him in that position. And actually, this is a fake outside. They're bringing the center. Lex is going to spot the first one, but Stan takes his head off. So Stan's woken up in these past two rounds with a couple nice entries. Peter with the off. He grabs a leg shot, but he can't stop him from getting into the site. And he's even getting blind all down the trains. And now look at the aggression from Tempo Storm. They're going to push up. Peter finds Darky. 
But the bomb plant goes down and it's going to be a retake. Pit finds one and all three Tempo Storm members mass exited up the lower ramp. Yeah, Glorans is going to be able to chime in with another one. <clears throat> Rix with very low HP is going to throw a flashbang around. Anger is going to take down one. Peter is going to find Rix as well. Shazam with the Tech-9 is going to find another one. He's going to have to go for this peak. They're just going to push on in and Nap's going to clean it up. He salvages the AWP again. Well, a really, really nice retake, especially with Lex falling so swiftly like that. Play in the corner. Instead of just spotting it and falling back, he takes the fight, but he loses it. Nice shot by Stanislaw on the entry, but still. Luminosity showing their proficiency, even on cash, uh, retaking these bomb sites. They've been very, very, very good. Yeah, and one of the things to point out is just Stan's law. He started off, he was 1-11 at a certain point. He's 4-12 and 12 now, but that's come on the back of three very crucial entry frags in the last two rounds. Yeah, it was it was funny. After that post-plant, the, the remaining three members of Tempo Storm, they all go up that, that lower ramp, and they seem to realize that that's not a good idea, and a couple of them tried to make it back down, but by that point, they'd given up the positioning. So that, that, that hurt him a little bit when the retake did come in. Naf and Lex, once again, have this crossfire set up. Lex is only able to get one. He goes down early. Pitt does have the Mag-7, not going to be able to find that frag. I'm surprised that he didn't spot the toes. He saw the edge of the boot. He's going to go to battle with Rix here. He's going to win it with the Mag-7, so that's going to be a lot of money in the bank for him and a Tech-9 to salvage as well, and that's going to leave it on Stan as long. Glorin's here in a 2 versus 4. Make that a 1 versus 4. Make that a no versus 4. Peter shutting it down inside, picks up a triple for his troubles. And a good showing from Peter on this map so far. He's sitting at 16 and 4, Napfly at 17 and 6. Yeah, Peter seems very comfortable on this map, to be completely honest. Even against Keed Stars, he was hitting some very, very nice shots, some very calculated shots, and uh, he looks very much calmed down in, in hectic situations uh, since he's gotten onto this squad. So very good play out of him here. Anger again doing anger things, sitting on the one FPR. That's frags per round for those of you who aren't savvy to the vernacular. And here comes that outside hit again from the terrorist side. <coughs> That flashbang's off the mark, though. It's going to actually blind Peter up on top of two train. They're not going to be able to find anything just yet. They're going to go ahead and push on out. Anger is going to be there and doing exactly what he does best. Spray and pray. He takes down two of them, and that's going to be the AWP. Nafly with a nice flick shot on the Glorans takes him out. And Shazam yet to land the frag. Nafly is going to be able to trade that out. And Rick's completely smoked off here from the ladder room. He's going to get spotted out. Nafly misses the shot. That's going to put Rix down to 11 HP. He really doesn't have much of an option, and he's going to go down immediately. So a triple for Anger and a double for Nafly to close out the round 12-3. to Yeah, the biggest issue is once Luminosity has such a strong economy with so many Molotovs, once these set smokes come out for the terrorist side, Luminosity just drops Molotovs, they drop their own smokes and the choke points, and it just delays things so much that it allows really, really nice positioning for the Luminosity members to push up, get aggressive, find nice angles. And, I mean, they really, Rix wants to lurk out ladder, but his teammates just get mowed down while he's stuck behind his smoke, so there's really not much he can do unless he runs through it, which is just a tough battle to win. But another very, very dominant CT side from, from LG. All right, and I'm hopping back in the server because I had a little bit of a crash arena there, so <clears throat> we are back in. It's not live yet. I didn't. I didn't crash that time. Sucker. Well, la di da. <laughs> if Luminosity can, I mean, obviously, if they win this pistol round, it's going to be great for them. But we saw um, them struggle even with the scoreline on cash. You know, a slow start for them in the second half that almost allowed Tempo Storm, and they brought it within, you know, three or four rounds at one point. So they've got to be careful they don't give that up, especially on such a CT-sided map. If, if Tempo Storm catches some momentum, is able to, to build up that economical advantage that Luminosity had, that, this could turn into a very, very scary half for them. So they've got to make sure they come out focused and ready to go. And actually, only two members with armor, so they're going very heavy on the utility. They have an idea for, some, for a set execute on this pistol round. And again, we're going to see them go for a little bit of a uh, play towards Ivy on their terrorist pistol round. They're going to be lining up some smoke grenades and tossing those on out. Let's see where those go. There you go. So it's basically that classic Anders smoke wall that they threw outside, and now they're going to come out, and Glorin's instantly gooshed. One more to beat around the corner. That's going to be Darky who's going to win that battle, though, so first blood goes the way of the CT side. But Darky all by himself. He drops the bomb carrier. He gets the reload in. Almost takes down Nafly as well. Nafly all by his lonesome now. Going to spin around and take down Rick, so it's a two versus one. Stan is all with the CC-75. is going to join his teammate over here. And Nafly takes down the high HP player, so it's all on Glorin's coming around. And Nafly with the oh ace! Oh, my lord. What a round from Nafly! 
Playing lights out tonight. Oh, what a what a round from him. Nice nice shots. He picks up that USP. He got those three kills with ten bullets uh, on the reload in that in that USP. So he just demolished. I mean, that that was looking like a great round for Tempo Storm off the back of some nice frags from Darky, but Naf just going absolutely bonkers. Ridiculous round from Nafly, and you can see exactly why he's sitting at the top of the scoreboard. What an incredible round. I'm glad that I saw it from everybody else's point of view except Naf. So I just I I got to watch everybody's face get melted that round. Stan is law trying to hold it down with the CZ75. Not gonna be able to make it happen. Peter pushing around outside. Rix is gonna be able to hear him going through the smoke. Gonna be able to spot that out and find that frag. So it is gonna be a two-man spray down here for the CT side. But again, Glorin's not going to be able to find it. Shazam with the 5 7's not going to be able to locate anything. Ricks with the scout, though, is going to be able to take down another one. He's going to burn alive, though. Naf again chimes in with another one. And now Darky going to have to push on in. Finds a shot, but not going to be able to find the kill. And that's going to leave Shazam in a 1 versus 2. Nafly again still alive, and that's a dangerous player to have up. But nevertheless, Lex is going to take him down. Well placed shot from the Galil. And that's Luminosity on tie point. That Molotov and Connector might have actually saved that round from disaster. I mean, that, that defensive retake, the, the defense on that retake was starting to crumble there, and, and Tempo Storm was just about to send bodies through Connector to, to really, really put the pressure on, but a Molotov just forces him back, so nicely done by Luminosity. 14-3, to three, and this is now going to be a full save. I mean, some upgraded pistols, but no real investment by Tempo Storm. They've got to try to have as good of a buy in the next round as they possibly can, and that's going to give Luminosity match point, barring anything crazy. Anything crazy indeed, and look at this, it's going to be a heavy play on outside from the CT side, and that's going to yield a lot of information for LG as they work their way down in towards the inside bomb site. Lex going to draw first blood, Glorin's down and out. He finds the headshot on Darky as well, so that's going to reinforce that stack on outside a little bit, and again, Lex looking for a third, he's going to find that one as well. That's all he's going to get. Stanislaw finally able to dispatch of him, but that's going to leave Anger and Z Connector. Rix is able to take him down, and that's going to leave it on a two versus five. They have salvaged a couple of rifles here, but they did spot out Stanislaw working his way towards the ladder room. Peter right around the corner is going to be lurking his way up, and he actually goes down the ladder, so Stanislaw not going to be able to find any exit frags in that area. Rix does find Pit. Nafi's going to hustle on back to the bomb because they left that area completely open. Again, another rifle down. Peter goes down in the hands of Stan is also not a bad eco round here for the CT side. And Nafly gets caught with a nade out. Going to control the spray and take down Ricks. And he survives the bomb blast, so he is going to be left standing here at the end of the round. 15-3, to three, though, for Luminosity, and this one's a blowout. Yeah, a blowout thanks to, thanks to the efforts of Nafly this entire map. 27-7, at seven, a ridiculous scoreline going on for him. Putting together a very, very nice match, and that, I mean, that, those two eco routes couldn't have gone better for Tempo Storm. I, mean, I know they're down 3 to 15, but they did a lot of damage in those two, and I mean, one of the things here, too, that, that round should have maybe been, I mean, they, they should have got a gun much earlier. If you're going to have a five-man stack outside, you can't let Lex just run around DM and be that efficient, and now look at this outside rush by Luminosity. Shazam gets the opening kill. Smoke play goes out. Darky around the corner. Lex pushing straight on through the smoke. Finds the headshot. Finds a second one. No trade being made. Lauren's finally going to go back into him. That's going to leave it on a three versus two now. As Shazam chimes in onto Peter. Pitt does have a Krieg, so there's that. He was just surgical with that. Nice shot. Naf comes out ladder room, and he's been the unkillable one. He's been the guy who can do no wrong. Pitt goes down, leaves him in a one on two. And what has he got for us here? Shazam's on the back of bomb train. Santa's Law's in the, uh, in the CT choke point. And Stan extends himself out. Shazam does swing out, picks up the quad on the round, and saves Tempo Storm for another day. Yeah, and it's going to be an eco round at Illuminosity. No plant there, thanks to all the damage done in those in those two anti-eco rounds. It's going to give Tempo Storm a little bit of breathing room, but actually, I mean, it looks like Luminosity just wants to end it. They're buying their deagles, they're buying their Tech 9s and armor, so full investment into this round for Luminosity. It's going to be all off the back of, of what deagles land their shots because there's only one or two smoke two smokes to work with. And it's going to be an inner rush as well where there's only one player. Stanislaw's got a big task to do here. He's going to hear him running all across there. Smoke goes down on the lower ramp and he's going to put himself into a good position. Going to be able to find one. Pushes up in front of the smoke. Nafly though, again, like you said, unkillable 4 HP. And again, the Deagle is coming down from above. They will find the plant. So a successful eco round here for LGs. They're going to have plenty of money in the bank for the next round. Nap finally goes down to the hands of uh, Darky up there with the MP9. 
And now pushing on around the bomb site. Peter gonna go to battle with one. Finds the headshot this round. Not looking too bad here for the terrorist side. Look at this. Peter coming around. He's gonna find one. Can he get the second one as well? Shazam bails him out. <laughs> So a great eco round for Luminosity does some great economical damage onto Tempo Storm, but nevertheless, they are going to pick up the round. So a fifth round on the board now for Tempo Storm, but they have to win ten more in a row. A tall order, to say the least. Monumental would be good. Monumental task, just absolutely huge. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> and pistols, P250s, and then smokes here for Luminosity. So trying to do a little bit more damage, and these might be those set smokes outside just to get the bomb planted, give them a little bit of extra cash in the next round. Once again, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a fast strat towards the inside bomb site again from Luminosity. They're establishing Whitehall's control early in the map, in the, in the round. And again, that smoke from Stan is long, but getting very aggressive is going to be Rick's up here in T-Connector. Going to be able to draw first blood. He's got one more to beat. That's Peter around the corner. He goes up on the train and then drops down. Whoa, that was a wonky play right there. But nevertheless, Rick's is going to be able to chime in, pick up two. Now Stan is law all by his lonesome inside. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. Peter's going to dink him right off the bat. Nate around the corner is going to do some damage to Nafly. 35 points of health left on him, but he's going to get flanked out and taken down. And now the rotation coming in. It's going to be Shazam with the Tech 9. Takes down Pitt. That's going to leave it all on Nafly with 35 HP. And he goes down instantly to Glorin, so the defuse will come in. But again, another solid eco round for Luminosity. Oh, yeah, and not doing too much damage, but getting the plant. That's all they really wanted. That's a victory for them. No armor invested, just some smokes and some P250. So this is going to be a solid buy here. Should be an op in Peter's hands if he wants it. But he doesn't. So picks up an AK-47, not choosing to op on the on the terrorist side. So this, this will allow him to have a lot of mobility, a lot of, there a lot of options for a fast strategy available like they've been doing. But look at the auto sniper in Glorin's. That could be scary. Well, Peter did actually pick up the AWP, dropped an AK for a teammate. Oh, okay. I shall eat my words. And he's going to go over towards mid. Only player, the rest of them, four players either towards ladder. And look at the pick from Peter, a nice flashbang. Self-flashes over the wall and blinds Glorence completely and then just takes off his head. And that pick is going to keep the defense outside. But it's an inner play from, from Luminosity. They'll be able to just walk out upper if they'd like. Santa's the only player. They're going to smoke lower and here comes the hit. And this is a very scary situation for Stan. He's got to be, he's got to be clutch here. Falls back on a sidewalk. Pitt gonna go ahead and self flash his way on through, and Stan actually pushes through. And a great play from Stan as long. He drops the bomb carrier. Pitt a little slow on the draw is able to go back into him immediately afterwards. So it's gonna be a two on four, a tall order for Tempo Storm, and this should be it here. Both members coming around from the Z connector. Two terrorists pushed up in CT. It's gonna be Nafly going to battle. He's gonna be able to find one and two. Nafly is yeah. so huge in that matchup right there. 